Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Police Grappler from London Studios. The first thing you want to do is open up your browser, open Keymasters and sign in. Once you're into Keymasters, you want to go up to Purchase Assets and then you should see Grappler. You want to click Download. It should download down here, so you want to open that and it'll open up your server location. For me, that'll be in my hard drive. And then once you're in your server directory, you want to create a new folder called Grappler. Once you've got Grappler folder, you want to gra grab everything from the .zip and put it into the folder. So once we have done that, you may see that there's a config.loo. So you want to open up that, and in the config.lu, you're able to change if you're able to burst the tire, the rope length, the force handbrake, the radius to attach vehicles, the frame rotation, and also the vehicles that you have it enabled on. For example, there's Police 4 already in it, and in this one, which is used as an example, Valor 12 BB. We'll test out on Police 4. So the grappler commands that we have is slash grappler, we also, and then slash grappler install, slash grappler deploy, slash grappler remove, slash grappler reset. You can also put in ACE permissions if you want. You can put ESX, VRP, or QB core. When you do the grappler, there will be a sound. You'll hear it when it happens. You can also log the grappler as well and then also different things when you have no perms you have the animations you're able to enable them or disable them and the the wheel bones and the props as well down here so enough of that and now let's add it to our server.cfg so if we want to find our server.cfg and then we want to ensure grappler so we've ensured that our grappler and now we want to start up our server. So we're going to artifacts and then fx server.exe. Just wait until that loads up. And then you should see that it says started grappler. So now we can connect to the server. Okay, so now that you have you have loaded into your server, go to a good place to spawn a vehicle so for me that would be on the road and then spawn in police 4 oh. police 4 as you can see originally there's nothing on this vehicle what we need to do is we need to go outside and type in grappler and then we can click install and you'll see your character go around the front of the vehicle, open the bonnet, and install the grappler. It does take a few seconds to install, but it's totally worth it. So you might not see a difference, but it is installed. It's the wee thing down the bottom there. So what we can do is we can go inside the vehicle. And we can, for example, let's just say we're out patrolling, doing your usual things. And you can go and do go outside and do slash grappler and deploy it oh we must be driving the vehicle so if we go inside the vehicle we deploy the grappler slash grappler deploy you'll see that it starts to deploy it out the front of the vehicle it may glitch out like it has just now and it's put it underneath the vehicle you can always fix that uh, it's just a simple thing within the CFG but as you can see, the grappler is now on. You're able to go out, go behind a vehicle. If we can go and try this just now to see if it has worked. If we can even, even catch up to the vehicle. So see if the grappler has worked. It does vary and might only work on uh, characters like so. Look, now we've got it and now it's pulling away. So we can now drive away forward and it'll drag behind us the vehicle. It may make crashing sounds, but it's, it's all right. And then what, once we've done that, we can go gra uh, grappler, and then we can do reset. And what that'll do is that'll disconnect the grappler from that guy's wheel, 
and that means they are able to drive away. Things like this might happen where the car gets pulled away and he takes it with him, but that's just a simple fix once it's removed. You can also do grappler remove, which removes the grappler. Which, like so, it's removing the grappler, you'll see the thing go away. And down the bottom of the screen. And there we go, that's the grappler now removed. So I hope this video has helped you while installing the grappler script from London Studios. And we hope to see you back again here soon.